Link sweet lovelies, welcome back to another Monday, another vlog, another week with us. Does it feel weird saying that before you've edited the other one? Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. I just filmed yesterday saying goodbye. Yeah. So to wake up and then say hello, hello is quite bizarre. It's so much better than daily vlogging, for, for me anyway. Like, I have mad respect for daily vloggers. I don't know how they do it. Vlogging for me is primarily fun and a way to document. And then when I tried daily vlogging, like when we went to the cabin, it just wasn't fun. It was so much pressure. But um, anyway, digress, digress. This morning we have started off, well, Jamie has started off because I suck at cleaning. Being a domestic goddess. Being a domestic goddess. No, it hasn't quite worked out in terms of the washing machine. Exactly. The tab like fell out, like we saw it fall out of the drum. And I don't know if this now means the clothes are not gonna get washed. And I don't think we can open it because yeah, if you pause it will it, wet you can't open it. everywhere. It just pauses. It's kind of being touched, like the corner is being hit by the clothes as it runs by. Yeah, it'll be fine. But there you go. Once when I was little, I was in my aunt's house and I opened the washing machine and water and clothes just went everywhere. Mostly water, not many clothes. And I was just it like. It must have been a dodgy washing machine though, because like now the modern ones, you can't. They're open locked, the yeah. Out. I mean, I was tiny. This was like over 20 years ago. Oh, right. Well, yes. over 15 years ago. And they were like, Shaba, is everything okay? Because I was just the only one in the kitchen. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. And I remember using up like most of her kitchen roll to try and get the stuff off the floor. But then I feel like somehow I was found out because no kid gets away with that. Sorry, by the way, if you're watching auntie. Right, to work. Also today I'm having a bit of an eye detox, like an eyeliner detox. Do you think it's important sometimes not constantly look like you've got tons of stuff on your face? Ugh. I love this scarf that my mum got me. It doesn't go with my outfit today, but I'm still gonna wear it. Really, I'm gonna be late though, so see you later. Hi, it's five o'clock and it's raining and I have to go out. I'm going home and I actually have to do it quite quickly. I can't ask about because I have a meeting with Jamie. Someone is coming to the house at six. So I'll see you after that. No, 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 no. So it's coming up to eight o'clock and we just finished our meeting, which was really, really cool. I love interviews like that. They're so much fun. You learn so much and you get a great feeling from knowing you're spreading awareness about a really good thing. So loved that. And then afterwards, I was in the kitchen because Tesco came uh, unpacking stuff and Jamie knocked on the kitchen door and pretended it was my house and was like, hey, I really fancy you. Do you want to go on a date? So now we're going on a date. I know that sounds so cringy. It is so cringy, but I don't care. So we're gonna go for a walk, and he's only doing this because he's craving a Five Guys burger after we had one after the Morrison party. Um, but I'll take what I can get. We're gonna go and walk to Five Guys to pick up his burger. I might get one, I'm undecided, and then we may come back or we may eat in the restaurant. I have no aversion to eating out of restaurants. In fact, I love doing that, and I don't think we do it enough at all. Our first one was like years and years into our relationship that we went to a harvester I think and had like a proper dinner date at a table. Babe, have we done it since? Yeah, we've done it like three times I think. Yeah, because we've been to... We, we did, went to we Pizza, Pizza Express, Express and then we did it at Nando's. Yeah. Is that it? Well, unless you want Nando's tonight. Did we, did, uh, did we do Ask? Not just the two of us. So we've gone on three dinner dates and I love the idea of doing it again. Ooh. But I don't like the idea of doing it in a burger joint. It's just not what I'd do. Like, I wouldn't sit in a McDonald's or a KFC. I much prefer the idea of bringing that home and sitting with my arse out watching Netflix I'm and playing games. <laughs> also, yeah. we have gone on lunch dates. Like, sit down lunch dates. Like, on campus restaurants and stuff. Do you know that happened when we were on a phone call? Yeah, that, that we were on a loud, like, speaker. Actually, to the person that did the interview today. And like I'm 99.9% <laughs> convinced that they thought Jamie burped. Or I didn't I burp. Did. I was just he just lent on that. I was and fiddling with my burp. We were like burger. pissed ourselves laughing on the other end of the phone, quietly of course, professional. All right, go up house. We'll be back in 15. What? Let's be honest, it's gonna take like an hour, but. It's going to take an hour. Wait, are we driving or walking? Walking. It's going to take an hour. Hi lovelies. So it is coming up to 2 a.m. Why am I not surprised? We, um, I've just been, no, I'm sorry, I can't. I have just been doing work whilst this one has been doing this. Since we got back from our cute little date. 
which actually was quite adorable. We went to Five Guys in the end and oh my god, I bought little Cajun fries and they are just amazing. Like And just not very little. So good. Yeah, I got the little portion and it was giant. I mean, it wasn't bigger than yours. It was, yours was still bigger. No, but do you know what it was? It's Mine just... came in a bigger cup, but because they, they like just overstuffed the cup anyway, we pretty much had the same amount of fries. It really wasn't that different. But they were so yummy. Um, but then, yeah, I've been, just been doing work stuff and not fun work stuff, just filling out forms and creating invoices and boring stuff like that. So I went on YouTube and I wanted to look at what people search like on the analytics section to get to certain videos one of them was dub smash jamie brains and i was like oh my gosh has someone done a dub smash of jamie so i typed in dub smash jamie rains and nothing came up but then when i just got rid of the dub smash and looked for jamie rains apart from the videos that we've put up there are a few videos that other people have done of jamie and i wanted to share a few with you because they're just really funny. Are you ready? This is one. How funny is that? Someone's just done like a tribute to Jamie's first day of tea. It's actually kind of adorable. They've taken the time to like put together so many different one second clips of videos and life and polo and that's adorable. Also, listen carefully. How strangers are obsessed with how he has sex with his girlfriend since he transitioned from female to male six years ago. PhD student and YouTube star Jamie Rains. Not, not the best pictures. At one point, I think there's one of a sea bass. Lucy bass. <laughs> a fish. I don't know why I said sea bass. We were watching Kel's Kitchen. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. And then there's this one. This creator looks really pretty. Honestly, this is like an aesthetic I would dream for. I do think she's really gorgeous. I think we've established, thanks to Google Translate, that this is Polish. But it's, it's got Jamie in it. Beyond that. Yeah. No idea what she's saying. But there's lots of sort of like tributey bits. And at one point, there's a scar and an arrow and no idea. Cool editing, though. There you go. That has been the enjoyment of my evening. So now that's done and work is done. Oh my gosh, look at him. I want one. Babe, you have one. I know. That is our one. Also, I just wanted to mention we watch Alfie's vlogs, pointless blog vlogs. Um, we've not watched them in such, such a long time. But I remember that Alfie used to say, um, oh, do, 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 be part of the OBW club. And when we finally realised what that meant, it's like before watching. And just wanted to say, I actually uploaded on time today and um, I looked at my video and there were three likes before someone could have watched the whole video. Like, it was like 10 minutes in to, to when I posted. Three likes. I have my own LBW club. Sounds like a sandwich, doesn't it? Sounds yummy. Lettuce. Banana and waffles. Yum. Morning, sweet peas. It's Tuesday. And Jamie's driving us into work. And over lunch today, we are going to the dentist. The dentist. The dentist. Both of us have checkups. Jamie actually has to have fillings done because he's already done a checkup. It was actually when he went that he was like, Hey Shabba, when was the last time you went to the dentist? And I've not gone the entire time we've been together, which is about six years, and I've not gone for a few years before that. So I've probably not gone for about nine years. And the dentist appointments you had before were all brace related. Orthodontist. Did they actually check like your x rays and stuff? I don't know. It's nine years ago. Yeah. So I just, I hate the idea of going to the dentist. And also I can't complain, NHS, super happy with that. It's just dentists are in this weird tier where they're sort of partly privatized. And although it's NHS, you still pay and that's fine. But I've always been told that dentists will create work unnecessarily because that's how they get business. It could just be really skeptical people 
but I don't know I just I don't know I don't know I just don't like dentists I don't like the idea of people prodding around in my teeth the idea of a filling sounds weird as well because like to cover up a small hole they have to make a bigger hole no they don't make a bigger hole it's under the small hole that's decay like like your tooth is crumbling if you left it your whole tooth would just fall apart and then you would need a crown well i've not so had like pain out. in about nine years so. i have not had any pain in relation to where i need a filling i had absolutely no idea well, do you go to the doctor just for a checkup even though you're not in pain you only go when something's wrong no well it's just a common known thing that your teeth do deteriorate silly car it just did something silly anyway we're going to the dentist Hi guys, guess what? It's me, back from the dentist, back from work too. I thought you were going to say back from the dead, sorry. <laughs> back from the dead, no, back from the dentist. And I don't have anything wrong with my teeth. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Honestly, I am so relieved. I was so nervous. Jamie was just like, yeah, you might need a couple fillings. It's fine. I was like, but they don't need injections, do they? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but I don't need fillings. I don't need canals i don't need whatever it is that you have at the dentist root canal crowns no 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 uh i have when he was testing my teeth he was just like eight partially ruptured eight partially ruptured i was like eight of my teeth are exploding what does this mean but it just means that my wisdom teeth are partly coming through it's nothing to worry about which is all cool because apparently their space like so far is something to be monitored but it should be okay which I know, I'm gonna stop going on about my teeth, but I am just so happy. I'm going to I'm going again tomorrow to go and see the hygienist because he said that my teeth are fine and it seems like I look after them properly, but if I'm really worried about getting further dental work done, like in whatever future it may be, it's best to go and speak to her um, and see how I can best maintain my teeth, especially considering I haven't gone to the dentist in about nine years. So um, yeah, yeah, that, Turned out way better than I thought it would. Also, can I just mention how in love I am with this scarf? My mum got it for me from France and it's so lovely and I like this colour right here. The blue. Sorry? Are you a scarf? I'm in love with you. I'm also very in love with you. A little less liking you right now because he's been so grumpy. We've had a bit of an issue um, promoting a video that Jamie did in collaboration with NBC Rise and a company called Into. Both are super cool. NBC Rise's new show. Just stressful. Jamie in times of stress turns into a butthole. That's basically all I can say. And your butthole. Oy. Um, but no, I fixed it. It's all fine. It's actually really cool. Um, we got to watch uh, an early release of a show called Rise that's on NBC, and it is so good. So I was super happy to promote that. So if you have NBC, do go and check it out. We're not saying anything. It's free. It's just really cool. Um, for dinner today, I have made some prawny prawnies in some cream, and then Jamie's just having plain pasta. No, I'm not. I'm having it with I know, cream. with the cream sauce, okay. but I'm having it with mushrooms, prawns, and How peas. How much cream do I put in? All the cream. Yeah, all of it. There's not much left. So, yeah. We're going to go have dinner, watch another episode of Hell's Kitchen, and then what are we going to do? Other house bits that I can be bothered to do, but let's be honest, we're probably just going to sit on the sofa and go. I'm going to try and not let that happen, but... Oh, no. I was going to ask your followers for advice on something, but I'm probably going to have already done it by the time they reply. I was going to say, PS4, first Assassin's Creed game, what would they recommend for those who play Assassin's Creed? But I think I'm just going to pick one. Oh, you can't wait until Monday? No. I got a twenty five dollars on voucher. I need to spend it. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Oh my goodness sake! It's like living with a child, honestly. I make life fun. And expensive. <laughs> it's gone eleven. Look at this. The hallway area is done. It's really grimy because we've just had boxes there pretty much since we've moved in, but stuck those all up in the loft. And I also fished this little baby out. I've not played my guitar in such a long time, so I'm gonna tune her up. The guitar is typically hers. Is my guitar a her? I don't think so. If it was to be gendered, it would probably be male. I don't know why. There you go. This door is so creaky. Listen to this. 
gonna just mess around on guitar for a little bit and then get on with some biking and that'll be my Tuesday done. I'm so pleased with this cushion though, I can't tell you. And this backdrop, oh, I love this room. I just love this room. Still need some work, but I'm happy with it. Also, Shaba 2 is going down, which is great news. It's 1am, I could talk too long. I'm going to bed now, I knew this would happen. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I've come home, it's a Wednesday, and chicken is in the oven. What a good way to start the evening. Oh, I love them! Jamie put on the new bed sheets. look. Match my tattoo, look. Look, I'm gonna bend in. <laughs> Can't even see me, can't even see the tattoo. I don't think it works babe, sorry. <laughs> the yellow is beautiful. Now, I am going to go and bike before dinner. Okay. Oh, first week pee, biking's done, chicken's out the oven. Well, scoop out the oven. You scoop. ready? Three, two, scoop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if you've seen this, guys. Probably not, because I've not shown you. But Jamie has just made, built the uh, cat scratch. Look. Do you like it, Sweet Pea? Oh, good boy. Oh my god, that's so cute. Well done, Polio! Well done! You good boy! You good boy! Yeah! Need some chicken! Should we go get some chicken? Stop it! How would you like it if I slapped a ball in your face? Hi! Oh, you look all tiny and hid. Oh my god, my hair! Shabba gave me a head massage. Look at this! Isn't that just the most incredible thing? Shabu can laugh like Janice from Friends. There was a photo on my Facebook feed, it was just like, I can hear this picture. And it was just of Janice, like, try it. <laughs> um. Okay, ready? <laughs> does actually sound like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Even if it doesn't, it sounds awful. It's like if Janice made love to Peter Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> that your neighbours can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to watch Friends, but we've got emails to do. Come on, giddy up. All right, guys, emails done, chicken eaten, we're Hell's Kitchen watched. What else have we done tonight? I think that's it. It makes me sound so unproductive. Bike. Bike. Exercise done. Hwata! And I even have water for me at bedtime. I always struggle and I want to go and drink Jamie's water, but I don't like drinking from the same bottle as someone else. So I've got a little panda cup. No, you don't like drinking from the same bottle as somebody else. You have morning breath. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll drink glasses with Jamie. I'll share Coke cans during the day. It's just overnight. It's a little bit stinky. And it's not just you. Yeah, everybody's got stinky breath in the morning unless you're magical. Oh, there is just something about beautiful, fresh, clean sheets and a cuddle buddy. Night. Hello, lovelies. It is Thursday. <sighs> Jeremy's still interrupting my vlogs. It is just one half past six and I'm making meatballs. I feel like meatballs are a regular occurrence on this vlog and I'm not sure why. That is not the right plan. Not Swedish meatballs, or apparently my failed attempt at Swedish meatballs, but Italian meatballs. I'm gonna get that cooking and then Jamie and I have a lot of work to do tonight on various webby bits and Jamie's doing data bits for his PhD. But I'm really, really looking forward to the end of this week because next week I have entirely off from my day job. And whilst I really enjoy my job, I really don't enjoy being an employee in general. So this is really, really cool. Also, as I'm sure most of you are aware, Stephen Hawking has passed away so it's a very sad time and I thought I should just acknowledge that in the vlog at least. It's a real shame when we lose such great minds like that and even though he's in a better place or so we'd like to believe, still a loss. It's still a loss. I remember ages ago seeing something really funny about um, his attempt to find out if time travel was real. Stephen Hawking held a party specifically for time travellers on one day but only invited them to the party the day after it happened. His idea being that if people could time travel then they would then 
attend a party that had already occurred and nobody showed up. And whilst that's not a foolproof way of seeing whether time travel actually exists or not, I think it just completely sums up how marvellous and crazy and wonderful his contributions have been. It's a few hours later, I've showered, I played piano for a little bit, right now I have a kitty sitting on my boobies, and we are watching Hell's Kitchen at half past midnight. I'm gonna do my hair and fall asleep to this. That tends to be how most evenings go at the moment. Can't complain, can't complain. He's so cute. And tomorrow is the last day of work. Good morning, sweetie pies. It is Friday. I don't know why I just called you sweetie pies. That's a bit weird. Who says that? Um, Tweety pie. That's the thing, isn't it? The, yeah, Tweety pie is a little bird. I'm like Lily. Oh Lily. yeah, with the big cat. Uh, I am wearing today. Can't see it. A jumper that says lazy time because it is a Friday and it is just summing up how I feel. I feel so lazy right now. I've even forgotten my Fitbit, which is not a good thing. Um, Jamie and I are on the way to the offices, but I'm really excited because today is the last day before I'm off for a week, a week. Ah! I wish I could do more with the week that we have off. Um, we really wanted to go on holiday somewhere really warm, but when we were looking, there's actually no places that are really warm right now. The weather, well, that's short haul, because Jamie and traveling still means that we can't go too far out. So there's only places which are within like a four to five hour flight radius, and all of them just don't have the weather to warrant going right now in seven and a few months time. So we're going to go on holiday in a few months time to somewhere really warm, which is gonna be lovely. I want to go to Spain or Portugal. I'd be fine with Portugal. I also love the idea of Morocco. I also love the idea of the Canaries. There's, there's quite a few I, places. I want somewhere a little bit like more run of the mill for the first time. I don't. I want to explore a yeah, bit Yeah, but more. actually, I, I genuinely also want to go to Portugal, so I'm rolling the two in because I've never been there. Have you been to Portugal? No, but so I have then... been to Spain, so I really don't want to. I've been to Spain so many times. And okay. I've got an uncle who lives in Spain. Um, my favourite uncle and he's absolutely lovely and we will go and visit him but I don't want that to be our first holiday together. So yeah, we were going on holiday in a few months time but right now, last day at the office and then next week is going to be a week of filming really fun videos, going out on a few dates, yeah, doing finishing the bits. damn house. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel like I've spent my lifetime saying that and hopefully getting this damn kitchen finished. Not making it, but just making the decision. Because um, I've been waiting on two people now, and um, one person's really responsive, great, seeing them next Tuesday. The other person has just been on my tits, to be honest. They're just being really, really slow. Um, but they say we're gonna meet next week to finish off a quote, so I just want it done. I know I keep stressing about it, but I just want it done. I understand how first world problem that sounds. Oh my gosh, I can't get a fitter to fit our kitchen. Um, and uh, again, I realize we are very blessed to be in this position. It's just infuriating when people say that they're going to do something and then don't well, do we it. we were kind of hoping to book people in to do it in April. When we were looking and at this in January, they said that the earliest time was April because there is like a two to three month wait before they yeah. actually have the time to do the work and now it's coming up to April and people still haven't gone back to us with a final quote. Yeah, I mean it's literally, it is ridiculous. how many people have we had, like eight or nine or something? More, I've and got we've 14 had, what, on my spreadsheet. And we've had what, two quotes come back? No, we have had more, it's just some of them have been, have been a bit absurd. That's the other thing that really annoys me. They come to your house and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do it within this budget, no worries. Get the actual quote back and, and it's like over double. The amount, yeah. Not quite triple, but it's just... <sighs> Having lunch with this one. And look what he just showed me. Today is short person day. Hey, hey. Ripping the shoddies. Ah, ah. That's it. It's quarter past six on a Friday. I have finished all my work. It took me a little bit longer today because I had to finish up because I'm going to be away for a week. But I'm going to be away for a week. And I'm really, really excited. I don't know why I'm talking like this. My voice is going really high at the end. <laughs> I am now just waiting for Jamie to come and pick me up because he took the car back when he left earlier on today. Bing. Home. And I'm currently making dinner. Today's menu includes piri piri chicken with sour cream, wraps and rice. And uh, I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables into Jamie's diet. So I've like cut up the peppers and onions quite small. So hopefully he won't be bothered to pick them out and then might actually ingest some. Who knows? Also, my mum went to France recently and um, she brought us back this adorable, adorable, tiny sort of, what are they? Uh, Toasts, mini toasts, what are they called? Crostinis? They're the little things like bellinis that you put like salmon and cream cheese on. 
look at them. They're like tiny bits of toast and I love them so much. I'm just gonna keep them out and I'm just never gonna eat them because they're just too cute. But with this dish, the piri piri one, I mean, um, I don't know how to get the sauce saucy because normally I just coat the chicken with seasoning, piri marinade and honey, but that doesn't provide a very saucy sauce. I may experiment with some, um, I don't know, I'm looking around, with some stock cube. Give that a go. And voila guys, what do you think? I'm happy with it, I think. It smells good. It is a tad spicy, but you got sour cream. So How many rats do you want? Uh, two, because they're many. Dinner was a success! Woo! Now I'm going to bike it off on that thing! I really love having an ensuite up in the study here, because behind that door, Jamie's pooping. Pooping. <laughs> yeah, 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 Okay, so it's half past ten and I didn't bike, but, but, I didn't bike because I did something which has made me much sweatier. I did yoga. It's the first time and it was a lot of fun and I feel like I'm going to be in a lot of pain tomorrow because it was also really, really challenging. Jamie felt my legs in between, oh, that sounds a bit wrong. Jamie felt my legs mm -hmm. in between two exercises. He put his hand on my thigh and it was just trembling and... I feel so relaxed right now. It's such a weird feeling. Like I legit started falling asleep right here on this carpet because she said, the lady on the video, told the pose for 10 minutes. Oh, this isn't looking very good. I have a chicken pox scar here. The twins, my twin sisters, um, used to call it my balloon because it was a lot bigger, but I had it injected with steroids and I don't know, I get really wary that they're gonna like pop up and come back really bad. Oh well. I am so tired. I, I was gonna say I probably should have done that later, but I just think maybe my um, productivity today is just gone. I'm gonna shower, head to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. What are you doing, Shabba? Jamie. Jamie just beat Sauron. Yeah, no, he ate you. So after slaying many Uruks, we are now going to bed much later than I thought I would. I'm pretty sure I said it around half past ten when I finished the yoga thing. Oh yeah, I think I'm just going to watch TV and then go to bed. This is what gaming does to you. Honestly, it's just gaming. I never get so distracted and like caught up in time with anything else other than work, like editing. But there we go. Oh, my eyes are dry. Tomorrow we are going to town. I'm gonna measure my finger for a ring that my mum got me, which I absolutely love, but it's a little bit too big. Go back on some website bits. And you know the best thing about tomorrow? I am not setting my alarm. I don't care when I wake up, it's just gonna happen. I reckon it's gonna be about 11 o'clock. That's what I want it to be. I wanna be able to go through until 11 and not feel guilty about it. That's the plan. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you tomorrow. Explain yourself. Jamie. Jamie's a numpty in the first place and buys jeans the wrong size for him. Then we go and return it and he's like, I don't they have the receipt. They were the right size. New look just came up very small. And he goes, I don't have the receipt. I don't know where the receipt is. And he has a giant pile of receipts in his desk that he says he's checked. And I'm like, do you want me to check? And he says, no. I know I do with Jamie, but... Seriously, trust me, it's not there. We look all around the damn house and it's there. I love you too. And he's moaning at me all day. He's been the grumpiest little man in the world. It's so frustrating. Why is my bra here? Oh, exercise. My bike stuff's in the study. Anyway, I got my line this morning and it was blissful. 
I got up at 11 o'clock, as I said I would. I could have slept longer, to be honest. But um, Jamie is just like Chaba. I've got a bit to do today. You look so peaceful, but we need to go. He was snoring. <laughs> no shame, no shame. Everybody snores. Um, we're off to town. We are going to go and buy some birthday presents. I'm going to go measure my ring finger. We're going to return Jamie's jeans. What else is happening? We're paying some money. I think that's it. My replacement jeans. See you in a bit. The snow. The snow is back. Hey guys, it's been a few hours later. We are now at the university. Just finishing off some bits for Jamie's work. It's funny. I start my leave of not coming in for a week. What do I do? Come in on a Saturday. Great. But we're all done now. Heading home. Oh my god, it's so cold. I will see you in the car. Warm. <laughs> We are now in the car, heading to fill up on petrol because look at this. <laughs> Hi sweet peas, it is half 11 at night. It's been hours since I've vlogged. Anyway, we went to the uni, we came back, we went straight upstairs because it was so cold and the study is actually the warmest place, which is really good because it's motivating us to come here and get some work done. We've done some amazing talk on finance, on true to me, the new plans that we've got coming up. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. And I've also been doing an online course. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know. I've tried. I'm starting. I'm getting there. Um, a web design company. So I'm basically searching the local area and offering web design services. But also I'm upping my coding. And I have been doing some tools on this paid subscription sort of learning platform. Um, on how to write HTML, JavaScript and CSS and it is fascinating. I started this at about five o'clock and yes Jamie and I have been speaking for like maybe an hour two hours in between that but I've done solid hours of this stuff and I love it. It's so geeky but I don't know. I love the feeling of learning. I really enjoy learning. I've got a master's. <laughs> I should hope I enjoyed learning. Um, it's just a really wonderful experience to learn something new and and broaden your knowledge and I just find it so challenging and then so rewarding and I feel like this field as well as just really interesting me I love web design and I love the idea of helping companies if I could just start up companies as a job I would do that <laughs> but yeah this kind of job would allow me to help companies start and get off the ground which is really exciting I really want to work with small businesses and it also allows me to continually learn because the internet and web building is something that is forever evolving. Um, anyway, I'll shut up because it's probably really boring to you, but I'm having fun. Um, it's also half 11 and we've not eaten dinner. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna skip dinner. I'm just gonna mention this a little bit. This coming week, I have secured my first web design gig. <laughs> Confetti bomb. Confetti bomb. Confetti bomb. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited. Um, I get to do it professionally and run through it properly with someone who I don't know for a legit business, which is really cool. I'm charging like dirt cheap rates right now because I just want to build up my portfolio. But still, someone wanted to go with me, which makes me really excited. I'm going to shut up about it now. <laughs> Alrighty, Popsicles, it's coming up to 3 a.m. I'm so tired. <laughs> I have spent the evening talking business with Jamie, coding and for the last like hour and a half looking at cameras because I'm wanting to get a vlogging camera and I'm just looking at maybe if I should just upgrade my phone. I think the consensus is just purely for quality to get a camera. So I'm gonna get a vlogging camera. It's just whether I can remember and be bothered to bring two things with me all the time. Vlogging my phone is so easy, but it's also obviously not the best quality. <laughs> Bedtime. I don't know where that noise came from. Spot the cat. Shabba. <laughs> Why did mummy put you up there? He wanted to go up. Carefully doesn't hurt you. Accidentally. He really doesn't want to go. He likes it. <sighs> He's so mean. This. No, guys. Good morning, sweet peas. Happy Sunday. That is the voice I imagine our cat having. Shadow's naked. Russian. Yes, I am. As is Jamie. Ah! <laughs> We're both just showered. It's 11 o'clock on a Sunday, having a lovely late one. And get this, Jamie just told me, we, okay, so it's Jamie's brother's girlfriend's fiance's now <laughs> birthday today. She's 25 and we're going oh. over for dinner. And Jamie's so mum has planned this for 3 p.m. On a Sunday. Who the frick does dinner at 3? It, no, it's Sunday lunch, you 
Duncan. Yeah, but it's still so early. Like, yeah, but we won't actually... I never understood this English tradition. So, like, you have breakfast at a normal time, or if you're me, you don't have breakfast. Boing. And then you're like, okay, well, what do I do? Do I eat lunch? Like, I get hungry at 12, 1 o'clock because every other normal person <laughs> eats lunch at 12 to 1. And then you have dinner at, like, 5 to 6. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. He wants down. Move. <laughs> Oh, that was so cute! He legit would have landed on me, though. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I, these these are the existential questions that I contemplate why British people have lunch so early. My point is, number one, it just messes up my eating today. And number two, it also means we have to leave much earlier than I thought we would, which means I have much less time to do the web bits that I wanted to do upstairs, but it's fine. It is a few hours later. I am pissed off. Just a few things have gone wrong this morning. At least I've changed and no longer in a towel. And we have a special delivery. It looks weird. Like the cat tongue looks like a growth on the flower. You look weird. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> we have a flower, a gigantic tub. We should and say instructions. a massive thanks to you guys, actually. Because it was so many of you who were like, oh yeah, you can get fountains that make it move. And one of you actually suggested one with a flower. So I looked into it. And it's actually really cool. I just hope Fellow uses it. <laughs> I just have a feeling. What? That he won't. Oh no, look at what we've got for you. Instead of this little cereal bowl. What do you think? Have a drinky. Look. Water. Yeah, but do you know how extravagant it is? We could essentially stuff him in that tub. That's how big his water dish is now. Okay, I think I can accept it because he's using it, but if he <laughs> hadn't used it. Look at that face full of love. No, do you know what it is? Don't even look at me that <laughs> lovingly. It's a face full of relief because now we don't have to worry about him having knees, being dissatisfied at the fact that it doesn't move and then going... <laughs> Having a water yeah, it was it was carpet. tipped over this morning when so I saw it. So many times, even the water bottle downstairs, we, we got such a heavy one and he still managed to do it. But he can't do it with that. Well, let's hope not. And also, I don't think you want to because it's like an ongoing tap. What are you doing? Where are you? I don't buy that. Oh, no, 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 Jimmy, the one you've got on here. Yeah. Tickle his bum and then he'll shake his bum. Twerk it, Benny. Okay, hurry up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's found his saxophone and has just put it together. He's not played it in absolutely years. It doesn't matter! Just do one toot! It doesn't even have to be a note that anyone recognises. <laughs> hey! No, keep going. I don't know any. Go on, Shabba. I'm not going to be able to do this. I tried the flute Shabba, and I couldn't. I'm sure Go you on. Do good fly. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, you can. Uh, there's a specific way you have to hold it's your tongue, not right? That easy to do. do you have to do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Are you sick? Have you it's not that easy. What do you have to do? I've not played in six years. Yeah, there's yeah. a technique. I've never played uh, grass or wood. Do this. Yeah, now put your mouth over it. And put your tongue... No, put your mouth more on it. Put your tongue more. No, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's not body. Put your tongue on the reed. So you can feel it. Tongue on the reed. Yeah, just feel the... No, just feel the top of it. Under the, under the <laughs> so you practice your tonguing. Yeah, but <laughs> mate, look, this is in my mouth here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Does my tongue go here? Huh? Or go here? Uh. No, under. Okay. Under, under. But not that much under. So give it a go. <laughs> Could you pick a shit you? teacher again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go next, let's go next. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, babe. Yeah, yeah it's good. Like, really? <laughs> ben looks so offended, look. <laughs> It was high pitched. 
<laughs> I had my first major It got there. It's a fun attack. It's so hard, you should try. You like one of the farts you did this morning. <laughs> Shut up, they're amazing. <laughs> 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 What's going to come out? Try doing it? hamster cheeks. You're not supposed to, but make it easier. If you, like, if you blow your cheeks out. I feel like I have spit on the side of my face, okay? Well, you just... Try <laughs> that. It's called dribble. How do you... Just... Just... Just, just, just put your mouth over it. <laughs> and blow. So it's actually delicious. There you go. Yay! Oh! Yay! Have you ever been in a situation where you can't find your keys on your mobile phone? Got that stuck in my head. You will really? never forget that if you watch Britain's Got Talent. I don't even watch Britain's Got Talent. It just went a bit viral. Yeah, um, like years ago. Uh, it is gone nine o'clock, nine fifteen. We had such a good night. It was so much fun. Yeah. I really like nights like that. I feel like we really connect a bit more with your brother and Amy. As always, Jamie has come back and ordered McDonald's. So he's eating a little bit. He's made me a tiny tub, of. A nugget, some chips, a dipper, and a bite of the cheeseburger. Because he doesn't like the gherkin, which I'm very happy with. We're going to watch a vlog now. And I want some work. Mm. Hi, guys. It's 11 pm. <laughs> I couldn't get out the lisp. I went, it's 11 pm. Um, and I am trying out Zumba as my exercise tonight. Not done Zumba before. I don't think I have anyway. Maybe I have. I don't remember it. So I thought I'd give her a go because I'm not really in the mood to bike and the yoga one that I did last time really raised my heartbeat quite a bit. Do you know, I feel out of breath right now and I was like, oh my gosh, am I out of breath just thinking about Zumba? But it was getting this damn bra on. <laughs> anyway, I am going to do my Zumba and I will let you know how it goes. Ah, oh, uh, hey! That was hard. I did Zumba. It was fun though. I like things that are like intellectually challenging and stimulating as well as things that are active because then it doesn't actually feel like exercise. So I feel like Zumba is like dancing. Well, I mean it is. It had that same effect. So definitely, definitely a fan of that. Some of the moves may be a little bit bizarre, but I love the hip wiggles. They're the best. <sighs> definitely got me sweaty. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you really wanted to know. But anyway, I feel like I'm doing really well with this exercise thing. I feel like I'm getting into it properly. I feel like I'm giving it a proper go and I've recorded my first weight on the scales. I have gone up. I think, I don't know how much, by how much because I don't have my um, book on me. I still kept that downstairs. But I measured myself again and I'm 73.8, which I'm pretty sure is higher than when I last recorded a few months ago, which is slightly sad, but also motivating because I, I know I can do it. Exactly. I just need to get there. Jamie's killing Urux again. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna head to bed and Oh my god, it's the end of the vlog! It's a Sunday! It's the end of the vlog. Um, I have something that I want to ask you. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would enjoy. I'm considering it. I'm not sure if I can actually do it, but we will see. What I'm wanting to do, I'm contemplating, and this probably sounds really stupid, I'm not sure if Jamie thinks it's a good idea. I don't even know if I've talked talk to you about it. Maybe not. Um, I'd like to introduce a second type of video on this channel. Basically, my idea is I would like to possibly, maybe if I have time, put out another day's worth of videos. So as well as having vlogs out on a Monday, I wanna do more specific kind of like talky videos. Just things about fitness, things about food, things about me and Jamie, and maybe some music bits if I'm feeling brave enough. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in videos that aren't just vlogs. I just think I'm looking into this whole food and fitness thing a lot and I think talking about it and keeping it at the forefront of my mind in terms of making videos helps me be more motivated and might also help others. I don't know. It could also just be a fun thing to do to cook with Jamie and to find sort of like healthy hacks for older recipes. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts and if you want another video, I'll tell you what, let me know your thoughts on what kind of videos you would like to see. Even if they're just more personal ones, I would be very, very grateful for ideas. I think we've had a very productive week, actually. I went to the dentist for the first time. I don't have any fillings, luckily. Went to the hygienist. Big week of work before my next week off. I booked a gig for website building. I exercised a damn lot. 
We walk our cat a fountain. I realise that these wrap-ups probably are not very interesting to you because you've already watched all of this in the space of like half an hour. But um, yeah, for me, it's been a week, so. <laughs> also just have to point out how adorable this cat is right now. Look at this. Should we go to bed? You're gonna come join me in the shower and then we'll go to bed. Next week I will be cutting Jamie's hair. Say goodnight, Polly. Bye. Good night guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, be sure to press the subscribe button and press the little bell thingy. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Be kind and have a great day.